Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tara Tobias. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. In today's home exercise tutorial, as promised, we're gonna build on the last video. So in the last video, we were addressing knee hyperextension or the problem that a lot of people have where their knee pops back and goes into recurvatum hyperextension. I like just the knee pops back because I think it's an easy way to describe what's happening. So to recap, for the most part, we just worked on addressing the posterior chain or the muscles on the back side of the leg because that's usually the more inactive component that's causing that knee to pop back. So I'll put a link for that right here. I definitely recommend that you go back and watch that video. And then like I had mentioned in the previous video, this video is going to work on slowly loading that leg and relearning how to gain that balance between your hamstring muscles, the posterior chain, your glutes, everything on the back side, and the muscles on the front side. So as I mentioned in the previous video, usually the muscles on the front side are a little bit overactive and the muscles on the back side are a little bit weaker most of the time, not all of the time, but a lot of times that's what I see. And so we're just gonna work on regaining that balance. So getting them to work equally when you're loading that leg so that you have that stability on the back side and are le hopefully less likely to go into that recurvatum. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started. So this is one of my favorite activities to do when you're trying to regain stance control. So when you're really trying to regain control on the weaker side of your body after a stroke or a brain injury is a what I call a partial sit to stand. So staying in kind of a crouched position, but learning how to load that leg where you're slowly extending the knee, but you're not straightening it out completely. So what this does is it prevents you from going into that extensor pad Pattern because you're keeping a lot of the other joints flexed. It's also safer, so a lot of times your body can relax a little bit more because you're not standing all the way up. So that's another reason why I find this so valuable. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Now you'll see I have that strap around my knee. A lot of times what happens is the knee goes out to the side, so I really love this strap. It also um, gives you the opportunity to use your stronger leg to almost control the weaker leg a little bit. So you can actually use your stronger leg to help prevent it from popping back if that's what it's gonna do. And then once you can do that partial sit to stand and you can get to almost a fully extended position and the knee doesn't pop back, now you're gonna add a little bit of a weight shift. So you're basically gonna add more weight to that leg without letting that knee pop back. So you're staying in that crouched position and now you're just loading that leg, working on gaining that control between the muscles on the front of the knee and the muscles on the back of the knee. So you really want them to co-contract. So you want them to do equal work and you don't want one working any more than the other. So you're basically just gonna shift over and try and maintain this crouched position. Once you've done that a few times and you're gaining that control between the muscles on the front and the muscles on the back, and you'll know you're doing that because you're maintaining this crouched position, you're gonna try and take a little step forward and then a little step back. And then again, a little step forward and a little step back. Now here's just another view. So this is what it would look like from the front. You can see I am holding on. I highly recommend that you hold on to something if you are gonna hold on to something, I strongly recommend you put it on your weak side and just reach across with your strong arm to hold on to it. That'll just help to facilitate you shifting onto that weaker side, but it also builds a little bit of awareness over onto that side of your body. I've talked about this in other videos, but a lot of times after a stroke, your world ends right at your nose, so, that weak side of your body, sometimes you have a little bit of neglect. So this is a great way to kind of build that awareness or get your body and your brain kind of scanning past that middle point. So once you have mastered that, and by mastered, I mean you can do it 15 times in a row. You can take 15 steps in a row and you maintain control on that knee. So it doesn't pop back and it doesn't buckle on you. So you don't collapse 
and the knee doesn't pop back on that side, this is an extremely hard position to do. But you're basically going to take your strong leg and you're going to put it up on a step. Now I highly recommend this, these steps with this handle on them. I will put a link for this in the description below. They're not that expensive, but they are wonderful for this activity. You can also do a lot of the squatting activities that I do. Um, you can do a lot of your standing activities because it gives you something to hold on to. So again, a link for this will be in the description below. But you're actually gonna put the handle out in front. Now the only place to put it obviously is gonna be on your strong side. I know I said try and hold to things on your weaker side but because the strong leg is on the stool that's just where the handle is going to be so what you're going to do is the reason you put it up on that stool is you're trying to take most of the weight off of the stronger leg and this stool with the foot up there puts more of the weight on the weaker leg so you definitely need to have a lot more control and strength and then basically you're going to do the same thing now you have that handle there so you can pull up a little bit the first few times or the first hundred times until you feel like you don't need that handle anymore there's no there's no problem using that handle because this is a really challenging position but what you're looking for is you're looking for um your the leg muscles to be able to lift your bottom up off the chair or off the mat keeping your heel down so not going up on your toe making sure that the knee isn't going past the foot and extending the leg so that the bottom is moving up without the knee going into hyperextension so a lot of times what happens is if you have a strong extensor pattern when you go to extend the hip or when you go to try and lift your bottom your knee wants to like shoot out straight and so it just throws you backwards so it's really important to find that spot where you can keep your body weight forward and really focus on trying to use your weaker leg to lift your bottom up off of the mat and from this side view you can really appreciate that the knee never straightens out and that the knee is not going backwards when I lift my bottom. If the knee goes backwards, then you are just using an extensor spasm to lift your body weight up, but the knee is staying forward over the foot as I lift my bottom up off the mat. And that is it. That is the functional mobility progression or that is the standing progression for anyone who has a knee that hyperextends when you walk. Before I leave you today, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, give this a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comments below. If you have a specific problem that you would like me to address in a video, you can also leave that in the comments below. Before I go, I want everyone who's made it to this point and watching this video, just give yourself a pat on the back. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of everything that you've already overcome. Be proud of yourself that you're putting in the work and you're watching these videos and you're trying your best to get better and it is gonna pay off, I promise you. So you may not see it every day, but I'm sure if you look back to where you were three months ago, you can definitely see that you're further along. So just keep working hard. And I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.